What's up guys and welcome back to Tech Plant. Today I want to find out how many plants it would take to produce enough oxygen for me to survive in a container that was completely sealed off. Something kind of like this. Let's find out. All right, so why am I trying to figure this out and why did I put my head inside of a bag? Well, a lot of us plant lovers have a lot of plants. And I'm curious, do we have enough to produce enough oxygen that we use each day in the room we're living in? So if I were to seal myself off in here, would these plants actually keep me alive? Let's find out. All right, so first we need to figure out how much oxygen do humans need per day. And using a NASA study, I found out we need about 649 liters or 0.84 kilograms of oxygen per day. So if we divide that by 24, so we can get per hour, that gets us to about 27 liters per hour. All right, so now that we know how much uh, oxygen humans need, we need to find out exactly how much oxygen leaves produce. So I used another website and did some more research and I found that about one square meter of leaves will produce 500 milliliters of oxygen. So I'm gonna use pothos as our example. And for the pothos leaves, I kind of summed them up to being about the size of a credit card, which is about 8.5 centimeters by 5.3 centimeters. So if we get the area of that, it's about 0 0.0045 meters squared, which means we're gonna need about 222 pothos leaves in order to produce just 500 milliliters of oxygen. So we're gonna multiply that by two, because we want to kind of get it to an even more even number of one liter. So that means 444 leaves are required to produce just one liter of oxygen and we need 27 per hour. If we multiply that by 27, we're going to end up with 11,988. So just about 12,000 leaves. I also counted all the leaves on my one pothos plant and I got to about 75 leaves. So if we divide the 12,000, by 75, so that's, we have about 75 leaves per plant. That'll give us the amount of plants that we would need if they were all the same. And that puts us at about 160 plants. So that means with 160 plants, we can successfully produce enough oxygen to survive. And this is at the bare minimum. So this is like just staying alive. If you start losing leaves, you start dying. So if you can't keep your, for those of you who can't keep your plants alive like me, we're gonna die very fast. The main issue is the only time plants are producing oxygen is during photosynthesis. So you need to have a light source on these plants for them to actually be producing this oxygen. So as soon as you turn your lights off or the sun goes down, your plants are gonna stop producing oxygen and then you are gonna start using it up very quickly. But even though you think that's bad, it gets even worse. Plants actually respirate and they do this the entire time they're alive, whether they're photosynthesizing or whether they're not. So they're always producing CO2 along with oxygen, which is something I did not really realize because on plant websites and especially Facebook groups, I would sometimes see people posting about how they don't like to put plants in the room because at night it can suck out all the oxygen. And I was like, that sounds really weird, you know? But plants actually do use oxygen at a certain point. So once they stop photosynthesizing, they've got to respirate so they end up using your oxygen and producing CO2. So it works against you. As soon as the lights go off, they actually become much like us and they use air just like we do. So it becomes even more dangerous. So basically, if you don't give your plants enough light, they're gonna kill you. Just kidding, they won't. But anyways, all right guys, that pretty much sums up this video. If you guys like this or wanna see other topics, I would like to learn more about how plants reproduce. I would like to learn more about photosynthesis. So if you guys would also like to learn about these things and have more scientific approach, or at least, I guess, be retaught these things through my videos, I'm gonna give it a shot. So leave it some ideas in the comments, what you would like to see, what you'd like to learn about, because I'm sure I would like to learn about it too. And uh, another thing real quick, thank you so much for all your support, guys. You leave a lot of comments, you subscribe, you watch my videos. I'm always appreciative to it. It really keeps me going and makes me want to keep making videos because almost every day I get at least one comment that's like, hey, this video is really helpful and it helped me out. And I always, like, that's my goal is to make videos that can help people. And I hope that you guys can improve, like, your plant growing skills or save plants, whatever. I just always hope that my videos actually help people and that you guys enjoy them. So anyways, thanks again for all the support. Really appreciate it. My channel's been growing pretty fast and it's all thanks to you guys. So I just wanted to kind of give a shout out to you guys. But anyways, may your plants grow strong and healthy. I'll see you next time.